everybody and I am back with another speed build. So this time we're going to be building a celebrity mansion. This is going to be Kim Kardashian and Kanye West is celebrity mansion in California. This is a new build which is currently being built I think. I looked at a lot of pictures of it and I thought it would be really fun to create. And also a lot of you were requesting that I did do celebrity mansions which I'm going to do as well as doing Disney mansions of course. This is something that I really really want to do and I'm just going to do loads and loads of mansions on my channel. So this is a humongous humongous build and I had to scale it down a lot. What was happening was I couldn't get it completely accurate and also I could only have the house with I think about five or six bedrooms by the end and I would imagine the real mansion to probably have about ten or even more than that I have no idea how many bedrooms it would actually have but I really really did and I paid a lot of close attention to the front rather than the back because the back I had to make up even though there are pictures online of it but I thought it would be a shame if I was to spend all my time doing the back of the house and also that would mean that when it came to doing the pool and things I wouldn't be able to improvise and it wouldn't look very fun. I actually think doing it that way made it a lot more fun for me though and I think that it did turn out quite nicely in the end. Especially when I was doing the interior I had a lot of fun just planning out the rooms and just making up what was inside. I just, I loved it. So it was a lot of fun and I have already done the interior of this build. It's going to be shared probably a few days after part one, so after you're watching this video, then you will see it a couple of days after. And the reason why I have done the interior and the reason why this home's already on the Sims 4 gallery along with others is because I am pre-recording a lot of my videos because I'm going away. I'm getting married, so I'm going back to England for that and I'm really excited, so... That should be pretty interesting. What I was doing though is I was sorting out the roofing here. I was having a bit of a hard time because the roofing just was not my favourite. It really, really wasn't. I usually have roofing being very, very high and pixie-like, I think. As you would see a fairy house with just very, very tall roofing and, I don't know, just different like that. I just had the complete opposite for this home because it wasn't anything like that. In fact, it was quite an exotic looking house. And I wanted to stick to what it was rather than improvising with adding different things that weren't in the home. And anything that I did have to improvise, then that's absolutely fine because it was completely necessary. And we of course don't have every single item in The Sims 4, which is really unfortunate. But I think with unnecessary things like roofing, I just thought that it would be easier to try and follow it as much as possible, which I tried my best to do. This is when I was finishing off doing the roofing though. I was looking at a picture as well. That's why it was a little bit slow around this point because I was trying to see how accurate I had it to the picture itself. I was then changing the roofing because the roofing, I had a lot of different options. I couldn't decide whether to go for this colour or the last colour or the colour before. I just wasn't sure. And I just thought that I would try all different ones and maybe just place them on. And then depending on what went with the walls and the wallpapers that I was going to use, then I would stick with that. It's really strange though because there's somebody revving their car right outside my house and it's just really really distracting but anyway so this is when I was putting in the wallpaperings or at least the paint I thought that I would go with this color but I did actually change it towards the end and I went with a more terracotta color which really reminded me of my old conservatory I used to have a terracotta colored conservatory when I lived with my parents it was amazing in fact it was one of my favorite rooms in the house surprisingly it was freezing cold though I've never known that for a conservatory because I would expect the opposite I actually think it was because whoever did the conservatory extension didn't do a good enough job and what they did was they probably left a gap somewhere and there was just like a hole somewhere. There was just some kind of draft there but I just could never figure out where it was and I think that was probably why it was freezing cold. But anyway, enough about that. So back to the house. This was when I was doing the front entrance. So I decided on pillars. I don't actually know if the front home itself does have pillars and I'd be really interested to see it close up. Unfortunately, the only pictures that I could get of it were of a helicopter view and that was really, really strange because I would have loved a close up picture. But of course, I know that celebrities, like anybody, love their privacy. And I thought, you know, instead of just snooping, it would just be a lot better if I just improvised that area as well and put some pillars in of course the front door won't be completely accurate and I did actually change it to a more traditional look towards the end so you'll see that as well but I was also having a lot of fun just putting the pillars around and I was trying not to overdo it because the house itself doesn't have a lot of them I put in a circular shaped window over the front there and that is because when I was looking at pictures of the actual build 
it did appear to have something very, very similar to that over the front door. So that's why I put that in. What I was doing here is I was then experimenting with this oddly shaped room and I was trying to put some windows around it. I did actually change the windows eventually because I found some windows that looked so, so much better than that and I was so incredibly happy with how it looked in the end. I was then just finishing off just putting around various windows around and I actually used the French shutters windows and that's because when I was looking at the pictures that's what I saw on the build itself and I thought that that just really suited it. This is when I was putting in the garages, so the garages are the parts of the build that are coated in that brown colour. I did actually add some windows and it was a shame because I really really wish that we could have proper garages in The Sims 4. Now I have talked about this on a lot of my other videos because if we did have cars in The Sims 4 I don't know how practical it would be because when I think about the loading screens and how many that we actually have I just don't think that driving would be that much fun and it's such a shame. I really really hope that we will have cars eventually though because even to have something nice on the driveway apart from having of course enlarged toy cars which of course I did with this build so you'll see that in a little bit but yeah it would be nice to have them and maybe just have an interaction that would be maybe go to the shops go to the gym things like that I don't know something similar to it because I don't imagine it to be any other way but it would be really really nice too and I definitely miss the cars that came to collect the sims whilst they were going to work I just really really do and I love the idea of I think maybe in all the other sims series I miss how we could get a different car with each promotion I loved that idea and I really hope that we will get something like that again this is when I was going around and I was putting in a better fence because the white one looked really really bad and also it got hidden it got absolutely buried over the amount of plants I had so it was just better to get a better fence and a taller one and one that could be actually visible and look as if it was some sort of flower arrangement I did use green and I used green because that was what I saw on their front garden so they do have a lot of plants that look a little bit similar to this. I also think that they've probably had a specialist and that is me like 99.999% knowing they probably have because I honestly can't imagine them doing their own gardening and I would definitely say that somebody's been to that house and landscaped the whole thing for them and elevated the plants in such a way that it just looks really really good. So yeah, that's what I try to do with those flower pots there and enlarging does do that. I know that some people are a little bit mixed when it comes to enlarging objects. Not everybody likes it. I know that it's not for everybody. But for me, I just thought it went really well with the build and I was happy with it looking in this way. And there was so much stuff that just needed to be enlarged and I think it looked a lot better that way. But apologies if you don't like enlarged objects because I thought that this build, I wouldn't have been able to do it justice without enlarging lots and lots of objects. What I was doing though is I was putting some roofing around. I decided on putting the garages on as well. So I put some windows across there and I actually put some cars inside the build itself. So there's three garages inside the actual building which did actually take up a lot of space but I thought it would feel strange to me if I put just some random rooms in the garages. I don't know, it just feel odd. So I didn't do that and then what I was doing is I was going around here and I wanted an outdoorsy area so this could potentially be a party area. I think I actually had this being a dining room in the end which was a little bit unusual and I think for a house like this it would look amazing and I'd love an outdoor seating area something like that and I was really happy with how that was looking. I was then just putting a door up there because I thought you know maybe just matching doors. I don't think I've ever done that in my builds but I don't know maybe it turned out quite nicely and these shutters were going all around the build as well. That was something that I definitely repeated and the back doesn't look anything like it would do normally I don't think but I still think it looks nice. I did have to make a lot of things up though and I also had to make sure it was the right size because I wanted the whole garden to fit around it and I had loads and loads of ideas of how I'd want the garden to look. So I definitely definitely wanted to make sure I had enough room to do it. This is when I was going around the sides here and just doing the same as I did on the front. So I actually spent a lot of time on the sides and that took me quite a few minutes to do but I thought it looked nice anyway and it was definitely worth it because even the small details in this home even the little things I think make a big build and I was very happy with it and how it looked I was also just having a lot of fun as well and just piling the plants up trying to make it look elevated and trying to make it match the front there that's what I did I was really thinking about the roofing and I was thinking about changing it but I honestly can't remember when I did that 
This was a garden though, so the garden was elevated just like the rest of the home. I thought that would look really cool from a playable perspective, so if you did have the sims in here, then that would look amazing. And of course, if you do use custom content sims as well, I saw an amazing one that X Urban Sims did, so if you do like custom content and if you do want Kim Kardashian in the house, then go and check that out. In fact, I'll leave it in the links below because that was a really, really cool sim. In fact, she got it spot on. So yeah, I think that Kim would look really, really good. And the one that I got on my thumbnail, I got off the gallery as well, but I did do my own changes on it just to make it look a little bit more like Kim, I think. I don't know. And I don't use custom content in my designs, but honestly, it looks so stunning on Kim Kardashian. So this was when I was doing the garden. I was finishing off the downstairs area just here. So this was when I was doing, I think, I think West, is it Northwest? I think that's her name. That was when I was doing her play area. It's such a shame we can't have a sand pit. I would absolutely love a sand pit for children. We can't have toddlers, unfortunately, and she is a little toddler at the moment. She's not a child, she's not a baby anymore. She's just like in between. So it's a shame, but I would love something there. And I don't know, I think that I would have loved a sand pit or maybe something like a little baby swing. I'd love that because they're really, really cute. So I had to make do and I had to put some children's bars there. It's actually really odd because when I was younger, I was not allowed to go on children's bars a lot. My mum was so strict. She was when it came to stuff like that and that's just because my sister and I were completely accident prone We used to see these children that were just swinging from these bars like it was just Natural to them to do so and then we go on and we would just fall off maybe a couple of seconds in and it happened every single time No matter what we did whether it was just a really really simple activity we did it wrong i um i actually broke my arm ice skating because i was terrible at it it was actually a really really strange story because it was the only time that i actually plucked up courage to go off the side and everybody was giving me confidence and cheering me on like come on hattie you can do it you can go away from the bars you'll be fine and i spent about i'm gonna say a good 10 seconds off the bars and all of a sudden I slipped and fell and oh my gosh it was awful but yeah so I am completely accident prone just like my sister and I don't know children's climbing bars I just wouldn't have been very good at and I could never climb anyway in fact I am pretty scared of climbing I think I don't know I wouldn't be able to do it I get really, really scared like even when I have to climb ladders even if it's just a short one so no I'm not good at that I'd have to avoid it <laughs> This is when I was doing the water feature in the back garden though, so this was a really unusual feature to the build. I thought having a fireplace and then water, it's just the oddest thing ever. And I thought for Kim and Kanye's house, this is exactly what I would imagine. Just some really, really strange things in there. I was actually really hoping that they did a Cribs because I love watching Cribs, but I don't think they will because I think that when you get too famous, I don't think that Cribs, I don't know. I don't think it applies to people that are too famous. I think that mostly the people on Cribs are very wealthy, but I've never really seen anybody that's super, super, super famous on that. I mean, okay, Mariah Carey, uh, Richard Branson. Okay, fine. I take it back. There's lots and lots of famous people on there. But still, I think that when you are completely in the public eye and with paparazzi and stuff, I think that it's more difficult to do programs like that because I think that it really, really does invade your privacy. And also, if people really, really want to find out like where you live and stuff, it's just the easiest program to find you off. I mean, it just is. But yeah, so what I was doing is I was doing the back here and I was just improvising and just finding out what went nicely there. I put some plants in, but not too many. I would imagine that all the statues on the build and also inside the build are all statues of Kanye and also Kim. There was a male and a female painting, no, sculpture, that's it, yeah, sculpture. In fact, what we're seeing now, there was a repeat of that throughout the build and I think it looked really, really fancy inside. So I'm hoping that you'll get to see that if you stick around for part two. This is when I was finishing off the outside though and I was putting around some bushes at the sides there, just some general stuff that was happening. I just think that these features are actually really important to add because when you're doing the small features to a build, honestly, the small things just make it for me and I love putting little details around the side. It might not be the funnest thing to do, but it's definitely necessary. And I thought that it looked really, really good. I was also just filling up this area. So I did put, I did put some seats there and I did put a little shield on them. I don't know why, but I just thought it probably just gave the garden area just a little bit something extra. So that's what I did. 
I had to enlarge the cars and it's such a shame that there were no Lamborghinis or Aston Martins or Bentleys or anything like that. I would have loved that, but unfortunately we don't. So I had to stick with the Barbie car. I think it's the Barbie car, I don't know. It's like a BMW white car, which looks really, really ultra feminine. I don't know why, just to me, some cars look super feminine, some cars look really masculine, but those ones look super, super feminine. But yeah, so I put two on the outside, but there's actually three on the inside, so they've got five cars all together. And that's because every single time I do watch these programs like Cribs and stuff, I think it was Missy Elliott's house. I think it was. She had about 15 cars and it was insane. I mean, how do you even drive all those cars? It's just crazy. But yeah, so I did put lots and lots of cars in the build and I hope that's all right because I do think it looks pretty good. So hopefully you'll get to see that. Then what I was doing is I was putting around the lining to the house. I went with this brown color because the gray just wasn't looking good. I was also experimenting with the pillars, which really, really frustrated me because what was happening was the bottom of the pillars are sometimes dark for some reason and it just didn't look good. And if they were pale like the rest of the pillar and they weren't in that really odd between color, it would have looked okay. But no, it was just too obvious and I really, really didn't like it. So I actually took them all out during the end and what I did is I just had it just being the normal build itself and I actually think it looks a lot better like that. So even if you don't see me take all those out, I think that by the end and if you do download this home on the Sims 4 Gallery, then you will see that they are not there anymore. But anyway, I was going around. I was putting in the lights because lights are so incredibly important and anybody asking for tips for building, I would say that lights are super important because you've got to make sure there's lights there. You want to be able to see the build after you've spent so long on it. So I definitely think that that is a must and that's something that I sometimes need to take my own advice for, especially with my older builds. I sometimes used to forget doing that and it's a really, really important step. So I was happy that I remembered for this build. Then what I was onto, I was onto the paneling. I did change a couple of things by this point. So I changed the color of the build and I also put some curtains in. I put like a little curtain over the front there and I think that looked really nice to finish off. And I was experimenting with the top there, but unfortunately the bit over the doorway, even though it looks really, really lovely and I actually love it like that, it didn't suit the build itself and it took away from the build rather than gave to it so it just looked like it didn't look like the build and I wanted to make it look accurate so what I did end up doing was I ended up changing that part and after I changed it I just think it looks so much more accurate than it originally did this was when I was changing it so I actually went with that because I thought that that over the front there looked a little bit more accurate and I was happy with it this is when I was changing the roofing again so I went with a pinker color because the pink I think suited the build more. It was also when I was looking very, very closely at the picture. So I was desperately trying to follow it as accurately as I could at that point. This was a fountain at the front. So I thought, what would a mansion be without a fountain? So I thought I'd put one in. But that is the end of the build. So I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you part two. Thank you so much for watching and I will speak to you all soon.